Hello, this is Paul with your Winning Investor Daily Video. I was looking through one of my trade journals. I saw this extraordinary headline. It says, Facial Recognition Technology Spots Suspect in a Crowd of 60,000. And what it's talking about is something that happened in China where this person was identified in a crowd of 60,000 people in a stadium. And this person had been implicated in some crime and artificial intelligence had plucked this person out. Really quite extraordinary when you think what it would take for a human being to be able to do that, for even a team of human beings to be able to do that. Or for that matter, even if we took what we considered to be at one point advanced technology to be able to do all of that. And the reason why this is possible is because of facial recognition technology. And underpinning that is pattern recognition. And underpinning that is data and information and putting together patterns, which when you put it together is what is artificial intelligence. Now, some of you will be horrified by the application of artificial intelligence in this particular case. However, just imagine that if we had artificial intelligence intelligence at work, September 11th, 9-11, and I was in New York during that time, might never have happened because we might have been able to identify some of these people ahead of time using artificial intelligence technology. So obviously, for any technology, there are upsides and downsides, and it is something that as a group, as a society, we work out how to use it. Now, I can tell you that most, most of the applications for, app, for artificial intelligence are really quite simple, harmless. Helping you find a better vacation, helping you get to better music, helping you with books, helping you with jokes, helping you find websites that you want to actually be on. In advertising, it's showing you products that you have shown an interest that you want to buy looking at your preferences and putting things in front of you so as to be able to limit the amount of time you spend in frustrating searches for things. So while I began with a very dramatic use of artificial intelligence in a way that some of you might disapprove, the reality is, is that artificial intelligence is really changing every business. And the truth is, is that if you don't get on board right away as a business, in all likelihood, you're going to get left behind. Which is why last year, my main presentation at the Total Wealth Symposium, which is our featured conference that my publisher, Banyan Hill, holds once a year. And this year, it's in Las Vegas, and it's coming up in a couple of weeks. Last year, my focus was artificial intelligence. And when I went back this year to simply look at what I had said and to see where the technology is and where it's going, I can tell you that artificial intelligence, its use in any number of industries is just rocketing upward, just skyward. It's moving and moving really, really fast. For example, Gartner, which is a very, very well-known, well-respected consulting company, they estimate that artificial intelligence is adding $1.2 trillion in value in 2018. So we're talking about this year, 2018, $1.2 trillion, which is an absolutely staggering amount of money. And their estimate is that it would generate about $3.9 trillion by 2022, which is really just a few years away. So we're talking about in very quick time. McKinsey, which is perhaps the most prestigious consulting company and research company in the world, estimates that artificial intelligence is going to generate 3.5 to as much as $5.8 trillion across 19 industries. And when you look, you'll see that travel, transportation, retail, automotive, high tech, these are the top five industries. And if you look at these things, you'll see that the reason why artificial intelligence can play a big role here is because it requires taking strands of lots of pieces of data, information, 
finding context, finding use, usable patterns, putting to, them together so as to create information that you can make decisions on, that you can action without any additional input by a person. And if you look at travel, for example, if you think of the air travel industry, for example, you have to consider the plane, maintenance of the plane, the weather, flight schedules, the various limitations of laws that as to how long a staff member can work. There's obviously issues around security and capacity. I can tell you that that's so much for our current setup to handle. So it's the perfect thing where if we can find a way to use all that data so as to be able to create actionable information, this is something that is going to create an extraordinary amount of value. And it's clear that we are going to see this applied. Now, the other thing that I did is that I also went back to my presentation last year, which perhaps some of you may have watched because you maybe you attended uh, and we'd love to see you again if uh, you're attending. And I believe that next week, uh, my conference manager tells me that there'll be a special offer for those that want to get the live stream of it. However, getting back to what I was saying, which is that I went and checked the three artificial intelligence stocks stock that I recommended to everyone that attended the Total Wealth Symposium. And I can tell you, it reflects the fact that the this technology is soaring higher, it's skyrocketing higher, and the future is bright for it. So for example, the best performing stock of the three that I put into my main presentation is up 145%, 145% in the time since I made that presentation. So it's about a little under a year at this point, about a month under a year. The second stock is up 86%, 86%. And the third one is up 29%. And just for comparison, the S&P 500 during that same time frame is up 16%. So even the lowest performing stock in artificial intelligence has vastly beaten the S&P 500. And that's because of the fact that it is capable of creating so much value and it can be used by so many different industries because what it does is that it takes all these different things, which right now might be on 15 computer systems in the heads of hundreds of different people and where it takes it, synthesizes it and makes it where it can be much more usable. And it's something that where you can have a very high degree of confidence because you're putting together data, information, context, situation, so as to really have a high level of confidence to act. So artificial intelligence is flying high. I believe it's going to be flying high in 2018, 2019, 2020. However, there's also another technology which is going to be joining artificial intelligence. And I've decided to make that the focus of my Total Wealth Symposium presentation for this year. So I'll be doing a Winning Investor Daily on that topic next week. So come back next week and I'll have that one for you. Until then, this is Paul Mampilli for Winning Investor Daily.